everyone, Form BX257 here again with another vintage GI Joe toy review for you. And today I'll be doing the most requested of the small play sets, the 1985 Cobra Bunker. Now, as you can see, this is an Action Force UK version. And this, along with the um, defense, I actually bought in England, making this probably one of the nicest souvenirs I've ever bought. Uh, I bought it in the early 90s when, unfortunately, G.I. Joe wasn't really that popular yet in the UK, so I kind of got this for uh, kind of a song, but it's it's a very nice, it's a very nice playset, and sometimes the European and the UK versions, they have different, uh, different uh, colors of plastic, but this exactly the same color as the North American versions were. As you can see, the base comes in a number of parts, which are actually designed to come apart. And I'll explain it as to why later on. As you can see, the base has a really nice rocky finish here. And of course, this trench is meant for the uh, half moon of the base to go into easily. And I'll just put it together right now. Again, nothing clips together. It's all just sort of um, it all just sort of slides together. And there's the base bit. And then the rocket has its own mount, a two-piece bit. And you just slide this in here. And the rocket comes in three pieces. Now even though everything just sort of uh, has a big peg and a hole, there is an even tinier peg right there and a tinier hole beside it so that when you put this together everything slides flush. I'm not quite sure why they um, put the extra bit in there but everything lines up and you get your big rocket. Of course you put this bottom fin into the uh, big slot there, just sort of slide it in and everything should be all nice and lined up. Another couple of interesting notes to make is that the swiveling machine guns do have handles on the back so a figure can stand in here and hold and grip the uh, machine gun. Unfortunately this is one of the uh, play sets which did not come with a figure stand so You'll either have to just sort of uh, rest the figure on the base or get a separate figure stand. Another interesting little feature is the fact that this, um, with the rounded uh, base and it being blue with the big uh, molded Cobra symbol in here, it goes very well with a Terradrome. Two more things to note before I sign off here is, well, one unfortunate thing is, is that as a bunker, most bunkers uh, are made to go up against some uh, rock cliff or whatever, uh, unlike a pillbox, which is a fully formed uh, tiny base. And as such, this is really only meant to be, well, really a half of a base. If you put another uh, bunker up against the back end to make a whole round thing you'll note that the um, the roof is actually kind of kind of juts out and actually this um, uh, the the edges of the wall actually kind of lean off against in a diagonal if you put this in properly so two do not really fit together very well however there is one interesting thing is that this is meant to um, come apart very easily and that is because according to this you are supposed to use the air defense to launch a missile at this thing and blow it up yo joe
Well, that's all the time I have right now. Please check out my Facebook page for more information and behind the scenes photos for these reviews. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for next time to see another 1980s G.I. Joe tour review. See you then.